Hello, this is Christopher Larson from Formosa Interactive. This is a two-part series of videos that will show how to configure an audio middleware project to output either multi-channel audio or Dolby Atmos on a Windows 10 development workstation. This first video will cover setting up a project in WISE, and the second video will cover doing so in FMI. Starting with the multi-channel audio output, this is very straightforward because on installation, the WISE authoring tool is configured to follow the system default channel configuration. So, if your default audio device is set to 5.1 or 7.1 in the Win 10 Sound Manager, the master bus of your WISE project will automatically be set to use that channel configuration. If we go to My Sound Manager settings, you can see that my device is set to stereo. And when I play a test tone in WISE, you can see that the meters for the master audio bus are outputting a stereo signal. But if I change my audio device to 5.1, you see that the same test tone is now outputting 5.1 channels. And the same for 7.1 or any other supported channel configuration. The WISE panning algorithm supports full surround in all of their positional tools by default regardless of whether they are user-defined or game-defined. So, right out of the box, your game can output surround content, whether it's multi-channel sources or sounds that are dynamically panned from the game engine. You'll notice that WISE refers to 2D and 3D spatialization in its positioning options for sound sources, and that the 3D panner offers not only the X and Y axes of 2D, but also the Z axis for the third dimension. However, with 5.1 and 7.1 output, these sources are still constrained to the horizontal plane. The panning algorithm factors in Z only for distance attenuation, because with these traditional speaker configurations, there is no way to represent the height plane. This is where Dolby Atmos comes in to unlock the Z axis. In order to allow the WISE panners to output full 3D spatial audio, you just need to install the Microsoft Spatial Sound Platform plugin from the WISE Launcher. This will allow for a 714 channel configuration to be passed from WISE directly to the Windows Spatial Audio API. Once you have the plugin installed, open up the WISE authoring tool and assign the Master Audio Bus audio device to a new Microsoft Spatial Sound Platform output. Now you'll see that you have a 12 channel output in the meters corresponding to a 7-1 array for the horizontal plane and four overhead sources for the vertical plane. Now any positional data that includes z-axis information will no longer be transformed to 2D. It will be fully realized in 3D when monitored using either a Dolby Atmos home theater system or a Dolby Atmos renderer for headphones. In order to have both spatial and non-spatial audio in the same project, just create a second master bus and assign it to the default system output. This will allow you to bus any content that you don't want to be spatialized to the standard Windows Audio API. The most common usage of this is for any content that will not be going through a virtualization process for headphones, such as music or UI that the designer would like to preserve the headlocked sound of standard binaural stereo. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions regarding incorporating Dolby technology into your game title, please visit developer.dolby.com or contact us at games at dolby.com.